All right, what's going on, Hooligans? My name is Kurt, and welcome back to Walt Disneylanders. Hope you guys have been enjoying your stay. Hope you guys have been having a good time, and hope you guys have been staying safe. This is week two of the NCP, and we are taking on Owen Ojeobina, coach of the Miami Men's. Owen, if you guys haven't checked him out already, please go do. He is one of the he's one of my best friends. He's an amazing content creator. He's an amazing draft league battler, and overall an amazing guy. And uh, yeah, so this week is going to be a little bit different from my perspective. If you guys want the full live com uh, well done experience, go check out my guy Owen down in the description along with all the other coaches in the NCP. Phenomenal, phenomenal lineup of people and phenomenal uh, content creators. But this week's going to be a little bit interesting for me. Not interesting, but it's going to be different. And I'm going to try a couple things out. You guys let me know in the comments what you guys like. Um, I'm kind of post comming this week uh, instead of usual live comming the game. I'm recording this like a week after I played the game before the game goes up uh, and the reason I'm post comming is because we played Owen so I'm gonna break the fourth wall with you guys if you guys don't know how like Wi-Fi draft leagues usually run that we usually play the games a week in advance so you guys are seeing this on Sunday uh, the game that we played this game over a week ago so the game has been recorded we just upload it sorry to break the fourth wall in your illusion it's what happens um, we've had it recorded for weeks uh, or like a week and a half but we me and Owen played a little bit earlier than everyone else did we played on Wednesday of the beginning of the week and you I was fine with that um, but Owen had to play early he had to cram a bunch of his games in because he was going on vacation for the weekend so we played on Wednesday and we couldn't go back so we set for Wednesday night and that's what happened. And then Wednesday came around, and Wednesday was a really stressful day for me IRL. I was having a really rough day, um, a lot of personal stuff, some stuff like on Discord too with people, but that was a whole different thing. Just a lot was going on on that Wednesday, and I had put off my build uh, for the most part until Wednesday because what had happened was we were sitting in call, me, Owen, and D-Ray on, I believe it was Monday night. Yeah, it was Monday night. It was like two in the morning. And Owen was going to show me his BBL team so I could look over it and like give him tips and give him like, you know, sell my thought. And he had his he had his team for me open on Pokemon Showdown. Now it was two in the morning, so I really didn't register and he didn't register it at first either until he was like, oh shit, this is my team for you. And I was like, oh shit, that's your team for me. So I went into the game already with a, an amazing matchup. Um, but... Uh, I had an amazing matchup going into it, and then I knew three of his mons, which you may think is a good thing, but it was kind of a it was kind of annoying for me because I sort of focused my prep on the three mons that I knew were coming because I only saw the top half of his team because of how Showdown works. If you have it in the list, you see the top three. So I only saw the top three of his mons, but I didn't actually see the sets. So I really centralized my prep on those three, which was kind of a good thing, but it was also kind of a bad thing. Um, because I really, it was a very half-assed prep, I'm going to be honest. It was a very half-assed prep because I was like, oh, I already have a good matchup and I saw the three of his mons, how can I lose? Ha ha ha. Um, so yeah, I'm going to pop up Owen's team on screen right about now. It is, consists of the Latios, Excadrill, Scolopee, Jellicent, Sylveon, Moltres, Gigalith, Scrafty, Tangela, Zerkatry, and Stoutland. So Owen's got the Sand, Owen's got the Latios, the Scolopee. This is a definitely OG Albina team. Uh, Owen is comfortable with all of these mons pretty much um, and then he's got a couple of new ones he's never used like I don't think he's used circuitry or like Scrafty or Moltres I know he really wanted to try hey so it's definitely an Owen team very comfortable with sand he's a very good sand user um, but we have two of the best sand checks in the game on our roster with Buzzwool and Celesteela so I was really not scared of sand going into it um, and the three mons I saw he was gonna bring were circuitry Moltres and uh, Zerkatry, Moltres, and Scolipede. Those were the three that I saw. I didn't know their full sets. It was 2.30 in the morning. I was very tired. But I did know that those were the three Pokemon that I saw. And it wasn't really shocking to me because I already knew he wasn't going to bring Gigalith, Excadrill, or Stoutland against me. Because they had terrible matchups. Sand was awful against me. So he was already starting 7 versus 10 or 7 versus 11 or whatever it was. So... I knew going into it that I already had an advantage, and I knew that Zerkatry was coming because it was very good against my team. Electric types are really annoying for my team. I knew that Scolipede was probably going to come because it actually was a problem. Spikes were annoying, and Moltres, I figured, was coming because it walls a lot of my team, and burning my team was annoying. So, like, it just confirmed my suspicions, but definitely was unlucky for Owen. But, um, yeah, like I said, Wednesday came around, really half-assed my build, and I told Owen later, like, later, I think on, like, Friday or whatever, like, if you weren't going into town, I wouldn't have played you on Wednesday because I was in such a bad headspace. 
that it just it was not a good game. My commentary was really bad. My plays were really like not bad, but they weren't best. And that was mostly due to my prep. I think I played okay with what I had, but I think I could have prepped and uh, mentally prepared myself a lot better for this game than last minute rushing it um, like I did. So I apologize to Owen for giving him a very mediocre game. I really wanted to take a game off of him and really wanted to show uh, show myself the season. But Wednesday really kicked my ass personally and uh, was just not a good spot for me. But with all that talking, let's actually get into the team and we'll get into the battle and then we will uh, wrap up this this little stumble of a week and we'll hop back in have hop back into the regular things of. Uh, week three. So if you guys want more of like an extended team builder type of thing, um, let me guys let me know in the com in the description if you guys want or not in the description in the comments below if you guys prefer like a longer extended team builder where I kind of explain my thought process of building a team and what my sets do and everything, or if you prefer the like two minute run over my team of what I have, kind of why I brought it and what the opponent's team is. Let me know what you guys prefer because I know people prefer different things. If you if you're here just for the battle, really don't care what my team is, that's cool too. Um, but if you guys like the, the thought process and the learning of draft league then be sure to let me know down in the uh, comments below so running over my team we have first up is simba our raikou we are assault vest raikou with thunderbolt volt switch or sphere and shadow ball uh assault vest was really nice to help me check zerkatry and latios uh, i originally was sub calm mind because sub calm mind against a team with essentially no ground because i knew he wasn't going to bring gigalith it was super nice but i opted against it because latios with psy shock was still very annoying Sylveon has hyper voice that goes through sub and overall, I really couldn't set up on too much that wasn't Jellicent or Tangela. So I uh, opted for Assault Vest because it just helped me bulk out some hits uh, from Latios, from Sylveon, uh, helped me bully Jellicent even more, and overall just became more of a nuisance than a subcom mindset would on his team. Next up is Decidueye. We are Spadef Decidueye with Leaf Blade, Shadow Sneak, Roost, and U-Turn. This set is here to hard counter Circuitry. Circuitry really can't do much. We live a plus three Dazzling Gleam after Rocks if he's modest. Uh, Circuitry, modest max special attack Circuitry, we live a plus three um, a Dazzling Gleam. That's the best move to hit us because obviously hidden powers are gone now and it doesn't get like signal beam because that got snapped too. I wanted to put Sleep Talk on the set expecting a Hypnosis Blunder Policy set. Um, but I couldn't fit it. I felt U-Turn was overall just better to punish something like Moltres coming in. I needed Shadow Sneak for Latios and punishing a setup circuitry. Leaf Blade overall just to do a lot of damage to his team. And I need a Roost to keep Decidueye alive. I also want a Defog on the set, but I opted against it because I had Teka, which you guys can see. Um, so I opted against Defog on this. Next up, we have Baymax, our Celesteela, with Heavy Slam, Leech Seed, Rock Slide, and Protect. This is a primarily Fizz Def Celesteela. Now, this was where building got weird for me, because I knew I didn't need to bring Celesteela. I knew I didn't need to bring Fizz Def Celesteela, but I felt like it, I don't know. I felt like it wasn't fair, almost, for me to not bring Celesteela or, like, build a different Celesteela because I knew his team. I don't know. I felt like it was very unfair for me to be like, haha, I know your team, I'm going to purposely counter team you, which like I guess is the whole point of the format, so why I'm saying this is like kind of stupid, but I don't know, if it didn't feel right to bring, a, or to not bring Fizdef Celesteela just because I knew the sets he was bringing. Um, because I also knew he wasn't going to be a Sword Stance Golipede, but I built it as if so, because Sword Stance Golipede, while it wasn't the best against my team, it wasn't the worst either. So I built this as a Scolipede check. It also checked Drill, it checked Scrafty. I knew I didn't need to bring this set, but I brought it because it didn't feel right and it because it fit and it just covered holes. I don't know. It, it's this, this matchup just didn't feel fair to me. It just didn't feel right. And I, again, five minute building me really threw off. Um, everything this team so heavy slam just to bully sylveon leech seed to keep up recovery rock slide did the moltres on switch and we don't oko moltres um but if he is max hp we do oko it after a round of leech just max hp no defense uh i believe if he's just max hp we tail we kill him after a round of leech seeds we chew a flamethrower or fire blast uh and we bully it away we also this set also bully sylveon because it's a natural spadef bulk we'll chew mystical fires very easily and start bullying sylveon uh, and then protect to kind of just stall out Leech Seed and get health back on Celesteela. Like I said, this was a really fist of Celesteela to help me check uh, Sword Stance Golipede. Did I think it was coming? No. But it, I don't know. This matchup was really weird for me. This whole this whole week was really weird for me. So yeah, let, let, we're just going to skip over that. Next up is Thumper, our Azumarill. I went back and forth on different Azu sets this week, but I decided to go with Huge Power Lumberry. 
uh, Belly Drum Azu this week. And the reason I decided to go with that is because um, it just goes crazy against the team. I really didn't feel Tangela had to place this matchup. It didn't do a whole lot other than stop Thumper, and Thumper still Oko's Fizz Def Tangela at plus six. Uh, but the only big difference with a standard Azu and this Azu is that we are Lumberry Azumarill uh, in, instead of Citrus Berry. And that's for two reasons. One, Citrus Health isn't really going to help us anywhere. Um, we can set up better on Moltres, I guess, but that's about it. Uh, and on Sylveon. But we decided to go Lumberry because some, something like a Will-O-Wisp uh, Jellicent, a Skull Jellicent, Toxic from Sylveon, Flame Body Moltres, all of those were super annoying for this. Or even like Sleep Powder's Tangela if it did come. We're all super annoying, so I decided to opt for Lumberry, mostly so I couldn't get burned, but a Toxic from Sylveon could also be annoying. Um, because then I get burned, take it off, and then kill whatever's in front of me. Uh, we are fairly bulky, but we do have enough speed. We outspeed Min Speed Jellicent by 5. Now, I want you to remember that. I want you to remember that we outspeed Min Speed Jellicent by 5, because that's going to come into play later in the game. Uh, spoilers. Uh, if you couldn't already tell from the thumbnail, that's going to come into play. We outspeed Jellicent by 5. So, I figured Owen's not going to have enough defense and, you know, he's not going to have the bulk he needs to really creep Azu going that fast. So, I felt going by 5 was more than enough speed. Put the rest in bulk. I believe we live a non-boosting skull if we poison jab after rocks from full. Um, if we can't set up and then we can just fire off a liquidation and get rid of that. So, that's Thumper. That's going to be our win con for the week. Hopefully trying to sweep with Belly Drum Azu. Next up, we got Teika, our... Um, Colossal with Stealth Rock, Flamethrower, Heavy Rep, Heavy, wow, Heavy Spin, and wow. Let's try that again. We have Teika, our Colossal, with Stealth Rock, Flamethrower, Heavy Slam, and Rapid Spin. This is going to be primarily, uh, I believe we are Mixed Def, but mostly Spud Def, I think. Um, this checks a lot of his team. This actually bullies a lot of his walls very well. We are Steam Engine to bully Moltres. We are Stealth Rock because while I expect boots on Skullipede and Moltres, getting essential chip on stuff like Jellicent and Sylveon and Zerkatry for Azu to just win the game was super important. So even though he had two very easy boots users on his team, getting chip on stuff like Sylveon, Latios, and Jellicent were super, super important for my team. Uh, flamethrower to hit Skullipede and Excadrill and blow those things away. Heavy Slam to blow back Sylveon and Rapid Spin to get rid of Hazards. I really wanted a rock move on this to bully Moltres, but I knew Moltres couldn't touch me. Well, I thought. Uh, learned after the game that Moltres gets Scorching Sands. Forgot that was a move. Forgot that even existed. So my entire philosophy with this Colossal that I walled Moltres and Sylveon and, you know, I kind of just get to do as I please, out the window. Um... Yeah, I'm really good at the Gen 8 stuff. I still don't know a lot of the moves, uh, the new moves. I keep forgetting that, like, Grassy Glide and Flip Turn are things, so I'm learning as I go. <laughs> and last but not least, we have Yeti, our Reg Ice, with Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, Toxic, and Protect. Bolt Beam does super nice against Owen's team as a whole. Uh, his only real check to this is Sylveon, and that's why we're Toxic Protect. I wanted to run Rest Sleep Talk, but Sylveon beats us 1v1. Um just because it stalls us out if he's a wish set um just beats us so we decided to go toxic protect helps us bully sylveon helps us bully moltres on the switch as well and helps us just kind of bully down his team uh as a whole but i feel like regice really helps us with the um circuitry and the latios as well as just being a general nuisance because like i said bolt beam is super annoying for his team to switch into uh and will give me that chip i need for azu so that's the merit team let me know if you guys prefer the long drawn out team builders like this or if you guys prefer just a quick little recap before the game um and with that i'm going to hop into the battle and i will be right back all right so here we are with the battle uh against owen we load in the team preview and he decides to bring the zirkatry scolipede uh, Moltres, Latios, Sylveon, and Jellicent. So we decided to leave Robin Hood because it matched up well against everything against his team, uh, barring a Moltres lead, which I really don't think he's likely to lead it. We're expecting a Volt, uh, volt Switch from Zerkatry, is what I was expecting when I led this. So yeah, good luck, phone to Owen. Please go check him out if you want the full live com experience. And I apologize for this, but I really couldn't upload my standard. So he's going to lead with this Moltres, so I know I have to get out of here. Um, I don't expect him to be too, too fast, but I think he's going to be faster than me. So I'm just going to go into my Colossal here. Um, because again, not knowing it gets Scorching Sands, I thought I walled this thing to hell and back, so then I can get my rocks up. He's gonna fire for Hurricane turn one. That's gonna go to do good damage, um, but nothing that we can't, uh, sweep off the rug. So, we decide here, I think we're just gonna set up our rocks, just for free, because it really bullies a lot of his team. We need that essential chip for Azu later on in the game, and I know he doesn't want to stay in here, because obviously rock type. Uh, he's gonna go into his Jellicent, which I expected him to go into. It's a free switch for him. I'm gonna switch out into my... 
Um, I believe I go into my Raikou because it covers him. Yeah, I go into my Raikou because I'm Assault Vest. It covers him doubling into Moltres again, expecting me to go into Sidui as well. He is just going to stay in and fire off a Scald. Easy for him, easy for me. And this is going to be a free full Twitch. He gets the burn, which is annoying for us, but it's nothing too, too bad. Um, health is a little bit nice on this Raikou, but it's fine that we get burned instead of something else. So I'm just going to fire off a Volt Switch here. He didn't bring a Ground Type, obviously, so it's absolutely free. And if he wants to stay in expecting a Volt Switch, it's going to take a Milli. He's going to go into his Sylveon Aphrodite. This is going to chew. Uh, this is going to take the Volt Switch, take the Rocks damage, but that's going to be all the ship we really need for Azu. And now I just get to go into my Celesteela because this thing cannot touch Celesteela, even with uh, Mystical Fire. It's not going to be doing much. We could fire off a Leech Seed here, expecting a Moltres. Um because obviously the obvious heavy slam is obvious so we get to fire off a leech seed expecting a moltres or jellicent here um not concerned about him clicking mystical fire like i said we are very bulky and sylveon isn't the strongest pokemon he's gonna go back into his moltres so we get the leech seeds right i really wanted to rock slide this turn but i didn't kill um so it wasn't really worth it i'd rather just get damage and make a safe play in case he wanted to go into jellicent so here i'm just calculating how much i take from the fire blast um and I do take a lot. I want to keep this healthy. I want to keep my cells still healthy. And I do have a perfectly nice switch into Colossal. Although I am expecting him to call my Colossal switch and go into Jellicent. So I'm going to go into my Raikou. As he goes into Hermes, his Scolipede. And I go into my Raikou. Um, which I found really surprising. I, I, I felt like Rock Slide was a possible play there. So him going hard Scolipede was really shocking. Uh, also, he trying to him trying to catch me was uh, Colossal with the Scolipede was also interesting. Um, I'm just going to go back to my Baymax though, I really don't care about this thing. I do fear potential Endeavor. Once I see the spikes, I do fear potential Endeavor. Um, but it's nothing I'm too too worried about because I will take the trade of killing this for my Sally's health. Uh, as I believe he actually just fires off an Endeavor this turn. Um, he does fire off an Endeavor this turn, which does a lot more than I thought it was. It's just because the HP difference of Scolipede and Celesteela. And here I'm like, shit, I really don't want to take this much damage on anything else on my team. But I kind of have to. Because uh, I can't go into Robin Hood because I don't kill the Shadow Sneak. This is what I'm calculating here. I just want to see if I kill the Shadow Sneak. I just barely miss it if he is bulky. So I have to take the damage on my Celesteela and knock him out with Celesteela. Um, which is the trade that Owen wanted. Um, which is unfortunate, but this is all I really needed Celesteela for. Um, I'm going to go hard Robin Hood here. Wow, that was a weird play. Uh, I go Robin Hood on the endeavor he goes for a second spike and i don't know why owen was gonna let me kill him without taking all of my health on celesteela but that's cool with me gets a second spike up and i'm just gonna sneak here i i'm pretty sure I, maybe sneak was a roll um maybe sneak was a roll it was a roll because he lives um yeah so i don't know why i didn't just kill him with celesteela i was really expecting an endeavor but i feel like giving him celly and keeping decidui healthy was more important but it's all good uh, so now we're going to knock out Decidueye, or we're going to knock out Scolipede with Decidueye, but he has all three spikes up, which is terrible for my team. Um, he's actually going to preserve this too. He's going to go into Helios. I have rocks up, so I, I, yeah. And he took rocks damage, so I don't know, I don't know. It, it just confused me. I'm long reach, so I don't make contact. Um, so he can't burn me with Moltres. I'm going to switch out into, I believe I have to go into Colossal here, uh, even though I don't want to, because I'm going to take a lot from a Hurricane plus spikes, but I have to go into it. He's forced my hand. Um, and even though I can't get a wrap spin off, there's nothing else I could have sacked um, that would have been fine. We do live another hurricane from here. So, but I know he's going Jellicent. I know 100% he's going Jellicent. So I have to make this double again in a Raikou because the obvious spin block is super obvious here. As I do catch him on the Jellicent, um, I do get to go into my Raikou. Ca call him on that and I get to fire off another big volt switch on something. I expect him just to give me Scolipede here. Uh, that seems like a very easy sack for Owen. Um, on my Raikou, just clicking Volt Switch because he doesn't need Scolipede that to rocks anyways, and it would stop me from Volt Switching. He's going to go into Hermes, his Scolipede, give me the Scolipede, dies to rocks, and Raikou's kind of here just sitting now, just like, oh, well, that's unfortunate. I lost my kill. Uh, he's going to opt to go into his Latios, I believe, here. Yeah, he's going to go into his Latios, and I'm like, okay, I'm Assault Vest, um, but he can still kill me through Assault Vest, it, depending on his move. Uh, just calculating how much it does again. I'm pretty sure he kills me with just about anything here, uh, barring a Psychic. I believe he clicks Psyshock or Draco Meteor. He will kill me here through it, but I don't really have a better switch into this. I'm looking for my switch and really don't have one, so I'm just going to fire for Shadow Ball. I also forgot that Raikou was faster. I was really thinking that Latios would have been faster, but I was like, oh, duh, Raikou is faster. 
goes for Psy Shock, so I get my damage on Latios, and he kills me off here. There goes my Raikou, and here I'm going to make a misplay, kind of like a, I'm going to make a misplay, and you're going to see why this is a misplay in a second. So I'm calking, 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 yada, yada, yada. I end up going into Yeti, my Reg Ice here, and I end up making a huge misplay, and that misplay is clicking Toxic. Um, could go into Sijuai, but I want to keep it healthy for the um, Thingy Mahigi. The Zerkatry. Go into Red Ice here, and I expect him to go into Sylveon, so I click Toxic. Um, but this was a huge misplay because I miscalced. I thought this Latios. Um, I'm going to miscalc here. I think he's Specs. He's not Specs. He's Habanberry. So I really just miscalc that damage, and I think it's because I saw the spikes and just saw, like, wow, I have no health left. Um, so I didn't factor in spikes damage. I should have just clicked Ice Beam there because I Sylveon couldn't kill me, so then I get the Toxic off next turn. Uh, so huge misplay there. Because uh, now this Latios gets to exist and get another kill on my Reg Ice, which I could have used to help me bully Sylveon. Get my leftovers, gets more Toxic, and then he's going to knock out my Reg Ice here with Psy Shock. Um, but he does die to Toxic next turn, so that was a win for me. Uh, I believe I actually preserve this, and I don't really know why. Yeah, I preserve this. I don't really know why. I should have just let it go down um, and kept health on Celesteela. But, all right. Yeah, like I said, I was super out of it this game. Should have just sacked Regice there. He gets a crit on the uh, Psy Shock, which was annoying, but it's nothing too, too worrisome. He is going to go down. I can protect here and knock him out. I decide to Leech Seed, though, um, fearing no man, fearing nothing. He's going to Roost, which reveals he's not Specs. I was like, oh, what the hell? I was very confused. I get Leech Seed plus um, Toxic off, though, which is super good for me because now this thing is going to die even faster. He takes Leech Seed, I get my health back, and he's going to take a lot of Toxic to the point where he dies next turn. So I just protect, kill off his Latios, and uh, fear nothing. As he is actually going to preserve his Latios and go into Helios, his Moltres, and this is potential Rock Slide range. Um, although if he is offensive or has any offense invested, he has a very good role to kill me here with Fire Blast, which is super scary because I want to keep Celesteela, but I also really want to get rid of this Moltres. But I am going to opt to make the safe play. I'm going to go into take ha. No, I'm going to sack Yeti off, I believe. I believe I sack off Yeti because I think I can get a spin off with take off, but I'm not confident. So I'm just going to sack off Yeti um, because, like I said, I kind of choked with it and it really doesn't do anything else with the spikes up. He's going to flamethrower. So I would have lived that flamethrower uh, depending on how invested he was, but it's all good. Uh, I decide to go into, I believe I go into Decidueye. No, I take this my, this is my chance to go into Thumper. He can't burn me because I am Lumberry. Um, so this is my chance to set up a Thumper. Uh, if he hits Hurricane here, I'm screwed. If he stays in and sacks his hit Hurricane, I'm screwed. He goes hard Poseidon. This is super good. This is the exact scenario I wanted. He shouldn't outspeed me because he shouldn't have that much speed. And we should just win the game with Azu. So we click Play Rough and we should actually just win the... Um, he's stupid fast Jellison. So Owen told me after the game that he lost a mock to Belly Drum Azu. So he put more speed into his Jellicent and he ended up speed outspeeding my Azumaro by one point off of sheer luck. There was no real creep. He was creeping with it other than he had leftover EVs he moved. So he threw them into speed and ended up outspeeding my Azumaro by one point, which was super unfortunate. And that is actually going to end up losing us the game because Azu was our only win con. That was our only chance to set up with it. So uh, good prep on Owen's part. Really unlucky on our part, but uh, that's about it. So we're just going to quickly play with the Decidueye. Um, is he going to give us Jellicent? Probably not, but do we have another play to be aggressive? Not really. I could click U-turn, but if he, dis uh, if he does give us Jellicent, then we don't switch into it. He's going to click Shadow Ball. We are going to shoot this up because we are spit death, and we are going to knock this thing out with a... I believe we knocked it out with a Shadow Sneak. Don't really know why. Um, I think it's just because in case he wanted to go Moltres and preserve Diff, it, uh, it just... I don't know. I don't know. It was fun. Knock out the Jellicent. So Decidueye gets its kill. And he's going to go, I believe he goes into Zerkatry to clean the game. Um, because he can just set up freely. He's going to go into Zeus, the Zerkatry. And I believe he just starts cleaning up the game with Deagling. We are in range of a Deagling here. I'm going to Shadow Sneak for some Damage. Uh, and he's going to go for a Gleam. We actually are going to chew this up though. We chew it up very well. So I could have Leaf Bladed there, but I really expected him to kill me. Uh, this just shows he wasn't boosting item. Uh, if he was boosting item, he would have killed me. So I, it's, all, it's all good. Uh, so I get a second sneak off. Uh, Leaf Blade into Sneak still wouldn't have killed Zerkatry, so it's not like that play would have made too much difference unless I got a crit on one of them. He's going to Beast Boost, and that is going to be the entire game, because all we have left is a Celesteela, which does not want to take a Thunderbolt, and a Colossal, which is going to die to pretty much anything after a uh, after three rounds of spikes. He's going to Thunderbolt, knock out our Celesteela. We're going to go down. Crit did not matter. That probably just killed the second Celesteela. Gets a second Beast Boost, and then we have to go into Colossal, take the 18,000 spikes Owen set up, 
and uh, take the Thunderbolt to the face and take a 4-0 loss like a champ. So, yeah, really unfortunate loss to Owen this week. I really wanted to take a win off of Owen. Owen is a phenomenal player. I play two really good players back to back, uh, and I really wanted to take a win off of one of them, but unfortunately, I just couldn't do it. Um, this week, like I said, was super rough for me. Couldn't get it done. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So GG's to Owen. Uh, you know, he's a phenomenal builder, phenomenal player. And he is one of the few players I know that could take a matchup that bad and make it look easy. So GG's to Owen. Please go check him out if you guys want good educational uh, draft league content. And, yeah, next week we play Grandmaster D-Ray and I'm going to bounce back. Next week we'll be back to regularly scheduled live comms and chilling and, you know, doing stuff like a villain. We're also going to start bouncing back. We're not starting 0-3. I refuse to start 0-3. We are going to work our ass off to get 0-3. No, we're not going to work our ass off to get 0-3. We're going to work our ass off to get our first win and start winning the rest of the season. We're going to try and finish 8-2, baby. Predicted 6-4. I'll be more than happy with the 6-4, but we can go 8-2, baby. That's, all, that's what we're calling. We're calling 8-2 right now. Um, so yeah, with that, I'm gonna hop out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave any feedback you have in the comments if you like this title of video, if you like the team builder part, if you want extended, short, if you just like how I normally do it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, uh, along with hitting the like and subscribe button. We are so close to 150. We are actually gonna start to push for 200 by the end of the year. That'd be amazing if we could do that. And uh, yeah, so with that, I'm gonna hop on out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Hope you guys have enjoyed your stay at Walt Disneylanders. So with that, stay safe. My name's been Kurt, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. I'm out.